I said, don't complain because you do not know the value of being born now in the time that we have. So do not take that as a way of the future, all right? But at the same time, if you strongly create an image of that uh, in your mind, you may manifest it. Don't do that. It's very important. So, uh, the impatience is not because of time. The impatience is because of our mental condition. Sadhguru, I had a question to you about uh, time. Um, I'll tell you where this question comes from. I, I just turned 36 years old, and my father was gunned down when he was 42. And um, when I was a little boy, I don't know why, but I always, I'm not sure how it happened, but I always had this trigger in my head that, you know, 42 was the age. And so I grew up um, and, and became personally very driven and very motivated. And in God, by God's grace, really, you know, God's grace, I've been able to achieve a lot of things. And my growth has been accelerated purely because I was chasing this time. As I've gotten older and the closer I've gotten to that time, I realized I'm not sure if that time is even real. I'm not sure that his experience on earth of 42 years mirrors what my experience on earth of 36 years. And then I look at, you spoke earlier when we started our conversation about social media and how instant things are and how we're getting things immediately. You want to buy something now. You go on your phone and you can buy an item from the opposite end of the world and it lands at your doorstep 24 hours later. And so there's been a distortion of this thing called time. But you know that the only true way to achieve mastery is to dedicate real time to something. You spoke about 20 years of your life that you committed to building the foundation, which makes sense because that's why the Insha Foundation is, is what it is. It's because you spent 20 years building the foundation. For those of us like myself, who are still chasing time. How do we step outside of that? How do we live outside of that? How do we recognize the wisdom that you must have known when you started Insha Foundation about things existing beyond simply our physical understanding of time? Well, uh, <laughs> that touches many things, but uh, let me not go into all those aspects now. To put it simply, uh, uh, we'll see, the important thing is this. Say the unfortunate incident of uh, you losing your father when he was 42. Well, those were times when lot of men below 42 also shot or killed or whatever else, all right? Yeah. So do not take that as a way of the future, all right? But at the same time, if you strongly create an image of that uh, in your mind, you may manifest it. Don't do that. It's very important. Mm -hmm. You dislodge mm -hmm. that image in your mind that you take that away, yeah, you must make the necessary effort. If it's a very strong image in your mind and it keeps coming back, your actions, this is what karma means, your actions will be controlled by that image and unknowingly you will be doing actions which are driving you towards the image that you have created. So it's very, very important you break that image there are many ways to do that. I will be always uh, most willing to assist you in that. You must break that image, otherwise you'll drive yourself towards that image. Please don't do that, okay? Having said that, about acceleration of time as we know it today, in terms of our experience, not just about shopping, <laughs> about everything. So, uh, the impatience is not because of time. The impatience is because of our mental condition. Uh, 
You know, I was flying a direct… Uh, this is many… Uh, I mean, a year, two years ago, I was flying from India to United States in an Air India flight, which is direct flight. I know all the pilots and the crew and everybody, they… they want to talk to me, so they come and sit with me. So that uh, pilot… Uh, they have two sets of pilots because it's sixteen-hour flight. So he says, uh, it's a very long flight, uh, Sadhguru, it's really hard and all that. I said, it looks… Lo looks like you have very short term memory. Just hundred years ago, if we had to go to United States, it was a ninety-day trip on a steamship, okay? And they served lousy food, I'm sure, and <laughs> everything else. Today, in fifteen hours or sixteen hours, you're landing in United States, I'm not going to complain. Uh, maybe tomorrow there will be another plane which will take you there in four hours or five hours. They're claiming it's going to happen sometime soon. But I'm not going to complain because I have a long memory. <coughs> I know how it was hundred years ago. I know how it was before that, <laughs> that you couldn't even ever think of going. Now we are getting there in fifteen hours in a plane which is so stable, you do not know whether it's flying or sitting in a place, all right? <laughs> and uh, though I don't eat all the airline food, they keep coming and knocking, Sadhguru, eat something, please Sadhguru, that this is very nice, that is very nice. Well, this is like being in a restaurant. So I'm not going to complain. I said, don't complain because you do not know the value of being born now in the time that we have. Every… every… Uh, what to say, a historical time has its own significance. Ours has a certain significance where, I don't know, uh, recently somebody brought one motorcycle to me and said, Sadhguru, you must autograph my motorcycle. I've been autographing motorcycles and the guys are selling it on the Facebook for a premium price <laughs> So I said, see, uh, I, I wrote on this motorcycle, which is a very fast one. I said, uh, speed crushes time and space. Let it not be your bones, that's all, you know <laughs> So speed crushes time and space and it's important because for what potential a human being carries, the time that we are allotted, if it's hundred years of time, it is too little. It is too little for a human being who explores the depth and dimension of what a human being is. For one who does not explore this, one who makes themselves miserable and insufficient, life, this hundred years of life looks too long. How many thousands of people or hundreds and thousands of people a year are committing suicide because they find it's too long? It's too long for the misery that they are in. So we need to understand this. Time is a relative experience. Hmm. Your impatience is not about time. Your impatience is a certain psychological condition of insufficiency. If you feel, you know, absolutely uh, equanimous and stable within yourself, if you fly a jet which flies across the world in three hours, we are fine with, fine with it. If we have to walk, taking twelve, fifteen years to walk across the same distance, we are fine with it. Because it's not about time, it is not about distance, it is about our mental condition.